Well, hello, it is May the, let me check here, it is May the 8th of 2021, and I am delving deeper into my music phase of my life, so I thought I'd make a little quick video and show everybody what's What's next on the plate? I don't know that I'll ever get past fiddling with it. <laughs> Pardon the pun. But uh, anyway, here it is. This is the full-size adult violin. It's kind of purdy. It's nothing exceptionally expensive at all. It's a training violin, essentially. I mean, it's a student which it should be because I don't even rank as a student yet, but I think it's kind of purdy. Here's the bottom of it. It's about as thick as a thin line ukulele. And it's, it's kind of purdy. Uh, it's definitely a violin. I mean, here's just to give you a an idea of the size of it. I mean, I've I don't have super long fingers. I've got fat fingers, but I can grip it pretty easily. Anyway, I'll compare it to the size. Here's a here's a soprano ukulele. See if I can get them both in the shot. So it's a little bigger than a soprano ukulele, but not much. The body's a little bigger. But lengthwise, they're about the same. And, uh, yeah, anyway. Just to give you a little idea of the size of it. It's taken me most of the day to get it set up. It doesn't come with the, the, br the bridge right there. You've got to put it in. And then tuning a violin is a whole different story than tuning a ukulele. Whole different story. And then you've got a bow that comes into play, which is this long guy, and that's horsehair right there. And that has to be rosined up, and the first time you rosin that up, it, I imagine, probably took me about 10 minutes, <laughs> which is just the little piece of rosin is right here. Let's see if I can get it in here. It's just kind of like a hard, almost like a hard candy. It's like a soft, hard candy, but what you do is you just you run the bow strings against it like that. If you don't rosin the bow, then it doesn't make any sound. And as some of the jokes that I've heard so far say, you know, people that play violin say, that people that listen to them play wish they hadn't rosined their bow. And I'm sure that'll be very true for me too. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll play the little bit of stuff that I know so far and keep in mind it just, it just came yesterday and I spent all day hook, or setting it up. So I'm lucky to be able to even know how to hold it. Anyway, here we go. Hang on for the concert. finding is that the string spacing is pretty tight <laughs> and one of the reasons why I've never been very good at playing guitars because the strings are too close together that's why I like ukuleles well 
I'll stick that little soprano up here. And this is a standard soprano. And this is small spacing for, I mean, it's average, but it's a little bit on the, on the narrow side for a, for a soprano for me, which makes it, it's not impossible or hard to play, but I have to be more careful because you can see my fingers. I mean, now compare that. <laughs> so the question is, whatever made me think that I could, I can't finger a guitar because the strings are too close. What, and this, again, <laughs> this is a fair, I know it looks pretty wide, but in comparison, I'll get another soprano that's got a wide, Hank, bear with me. Uh, where'd you go? There you are. This is a, whoa. This is a soprano that also has a wide, this has a wide string spacing, so you can kind of see the difference between those two. And again, the soprano is the smallest size ukuleles I have. Now, this guy, I can... I can get my fingers around on it just fine. I mean, I got plenty and tons of room. But we'll compare it. I mean, it looks like David and Goliath here. And, and they're the same distance from the camera. It's not like I'm, you know, doing a close-up on this. Here's the close-up on the, on the uke. These guys are the same distance away. And that's about where the first fret would be. <laughs> so, I, you know, playing a violin is going to be, it's just going to be for fun. And I doubt that I'll ever be able to play it worth a darn because my fingers are just, well, here, let me, I'll stick it up there. <laughs> I, par I probably have done that in the video so far, but good heavens, look at that. I mean, there's, there's, <laughs> to get... I know it's it's hard to see, but it's here is the width of my little finger. I mean, my little finger alone covers three strings. Even if you go down to the high spots on it, I still cover two. I can get okay. Let's get right down here. There, I can get my little finger, but that. And I'll use the nasty finger, but God, to, to fret, I mean, to to depress one string, I got to get clear down there. I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, but I wanted to show it because it'll be fun to play with anyway. So, okay, well, that's way too much time on this video. So, bye.